Hi, I'm Helen, Head of SEO at Reflet Digital and welcome back to today's Search Snippet. So, today I'm going to talk to you all about knowledge panels. So what are knowledge panels, I hear none of you ask, but in case you are interested, I'll let you know. Knowledge panels are the boxes you see in the search results that give an overview of information about the featured entity, along with links to other authoritative sources about it. So Google has recently been giving more people and organisations the ability to claim their knowledge panels. People, organisations, events, media and even sports teams are all eligible to claim and edit their knowledge panel. So to find out if you have a knowledge panel, you need to search the name of the entity, i.e. your own name or your organisation's name, and see if one appears for you. Then, just click on the prompt below the knowledge panel, the bit that says, do you manage the online presence for, and then your organization's name, and follow the verification steps. It's really easy to do, but why bother? Well, Google uses a variety of sources to compile the information for these panels, but it doesn't always get it right. And there's probably a lot of information missing that you'd love to have appearing in this prominent position in the search. A 2017 Moz study found that Google searches resulting in no clicks was at as high as 40%. This means that in 40% of Google searches, users are either researching or trusting the information that pulls straight through to the search. If users are searching for a particular entity, it would be a reasonable assumption to make that they will trust and favour the information in the knowledge panel. The information that can appear in the knowledge panel about an entity that you can edit can include the featured image and category specific data, such as a person's birthday or a film's length. Information that can't be amended in the knowledge panel includes the Wikipedia snippet, the subtitle that's used, any image other than the featured image, and the people also search for section. So there's no getting rid of your competitor's name, for instance. Once you've suggested your changes, Google still needs to confirm the accuracy of them before publishing. You may be prompted to provide some more supporting documentation in the form of a publicly accessible URL. And this might all sound like a lot of hassle, but compared to trying to get your Google My Business entity edited, in days gone past actually it sounds like a bit of a breeze so i would encourage you all to have a quick look see whether you have a knowledge panel and if you do make sure you claim it that's all for this week join me again next time